This is an example of the issues I have with the Windows App Store. So I came here to update music app. So let's see, let's remove, let's clear them all. Let's select music. So it takes me to music. I don't want to go to music. I want to update music, right? So I come back and they're all selected again. So if I click on it, how the hell do I unselect it? All right, let's see if like touch and press, um, no, press and hold, go back. Just trying to get annoyed here. So let's press and hold. No, clear, press and hold. So, okay, it goes down. It shows that check. How do I just select one? You have to drag it down. You know, this, this this took me so long to figure it out. It's like the third time I come here and you have to drag it down and then it selects it. Like you think it would be this. You see, like that doesn't do it. That doesn't uncheck it. You have to drag it down. Come on, Microsoft, just press and hold. You should also do the same thing. See, I'm pressing and holding, nothing happens. I have to drag down. And now I can install just that app. Otherwise, I would be selecting everything and taking forever just to update one app which is probably what they want you to do and maybe it's just evilly designed like this um, I don't I hope they're not that stupid so here's another example I'm installing I already clicked on install for uh, solitaire so I want to play solitaire is like a classic thing in Windows right so let's see what happens once it's done installing Microsoft Solitaire Collection. So it tells me this app is has been installed. So how the hell do I open it? There is no freaking open button here, Microsoft. So oh, let's see where that uh, notification went from. Hey, uh, no notifications. So if you missed the notification, you missed the notification. There's no notification panel like Android or um, iOS or OS X have. So this is one thing I hope they fix quick. If not, this is an opportunity for any developer out there to make a notifications panel. Something that's, that's hearing that loop of events. Uh, it's very necessary. So let's go back here. Let's see how the hell do we open Solitaire. Would it be on the start screen? Uh, let's hit here the Windows key so it goes to the here. And uh, I go here and let's see where is Solitaire? Where is Solitaire? Oh, you think it would be added here? No, it's not added there. Seems they had a huge bug in the past where old apps would add stuff here. So you have to f discover this. That took me a while. And eventually, the Solitaire app should be here among all these little ones. So, yeah, it takes me forever to find something here. So I just type here. And there it is. How about that, Microsoft? I hope you're watching this user experience. It's still not there. You you cannot have me change context to finish the action, which is installing and opening an app. It's not so hard putting an open button for apps that are, have already been installed. And here we go. Favorite time to waster for, for millions. So now you are actually touching the cards and it's a, a Microsoft uh, game. It's the real deal. So there you have it. I think uh, if they made them a little lighter, they would absolutely comp compete against uh, the iPads. And uh, oh boy, will you have a lot of apps and useful, productive apps when in desktop mode. If you attach a keyboard and a wireless mouse, you have a full-blown computer, and when you leave, you have a tablet, just like an iMac, uh, like, an, like an iPad, so, good luck Microsoft, just get the experience a little bit better, you're almost there.